Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you every single possible bug fix to the Wave Executor, so make sure you watch the video to the very end. Before we jump into today's video, if you don't already have the Wave Executor, then you can buy it from the first link in the description. We do offer the best prices, and of course, we do have the 7-day and the 30-day keys, so make sure you check that out. Now, with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Alright, so the fixes I'm about to show you are universal fixes, and they should fix every single possible error code with Wave, so make sure you watch the video to the very end. Alright, so the very first thing you're going to do is come over to this window search and search for virus and threat protection. Go ahead and open that up and it should look a little different than what you see on my screen. From here, go ahead and turn off the real-time protection, scroll down and also turn off the core isolation as well as the anti-tamper. So those three things must be off for Wave to work properly. Up next, go ahead and open up the firewall and network settings. And from here, go ahead and turn off the firewall. So as you can see, it says firewall is on, firewall is on. Go ahead and open that up and click this to turn off the firewall. If it gives you this option over here, go ahead and click on yes. So make sure you've turned all three of these firewall protections off and that should fix a lot of the issues with Wave. Now, once you've turned that off, come down and search for control panel just over here. Open that up, go into uninstall a program and search for Roblox. If you see Roblox in here, go ahead and right click it and click on uninstall. If you don't see Roblox in here, then you don't have to worry. You can skip this step. Now, once you've done that, go back into the window search and search for the word run. Go ahead and click that and then type in percent local app data percent and click on OK. Once that opens, go ahead and delete the block strap folder. Scroll down until you see the Roblox folder and also delete this. So you simply right click it and click delete and also delete the wave folder. So make sure all three of these folders are deleted. So the block strap, Roblox and the wave folder should be deleted. Once you've deleted those, go into the folder that's called temp. Open that up and delete every single file that you see in here. Now, once you delete all of these, it might not let you delete some of them. Now, if it doesn't let you delete some of them, then that's okay. You can close out of it, but make sure you delete the ones that you can delete. All right, now up next, go ahead and join my Discord server, which will be the second link in the description. And once you do join it, head over to the bug fixes channel. From there, make sure you have both of these applications installed. So go ahead and click this and it will take you over to this website. From there, click on download and choose whatever country. It doesn't really matter. And then go ahead and choose wherever you want to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop. Now come back over to Discord and do the same thing for the second link. So go ahead and click on the download button for this and follow the same steps. Once you have both of the files downloaded, go ahead and right click the first file that you've downloaded, which should be a zipped folder and you should have an option to extract the folder. So go ahead and extract it and then go ahead and open it up and you should see all of these files just like that. From here, go ahead and click on the install underscore all and when you do open it, it's going to start installing all of these. If it asks you for permission to approve the downloads, make sure you click on yes. So for me, I'm just going to close out of this because I do already have it installed. So once you've installed all of these files and you've done the same thing for the Node.js, at this point, you can go ahead and restart your computer. So make sure you restart your computer. That step is also very important. Once you've restarted your computer, head over to the getwave.gg website and re-download the new installer. So make sure you download a fresh installer and choose wherever you need to download it and then click on save. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up the installer and follow the steps to download Wave again. Once you have Wave fully installed, you can now go ahead and open it up and log into the actual executor. And of course, at this point, you can now head over to Roblox again and load into a game of your choice. And when you do click the join button, it should bring up the Wave launcher just like this. And just like that, as you can see, it has successfully injected. And of course, if we were to grab any script and throw it into the executor, let's go ahead and close that and click on execute, it should execute the script just like that without any problems. Now, with that being said, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did find it useful. If you did, then make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you do want to stay up to date with any Wave news or announcements, then make sure to join my Discord server, which will be in the second link in the description. And until next time, goodbye.